Hi everyone, I'm gonna use the PBR textures from this material and create a render engine. At first, we should prepare the scene. Create a sphere in the center of the scene and set the radius on 50 centimeters. Now I need the dom light and I'm gonna set an HDRI file on the dom light. And then I go the control panel and set the lock texture to icon and set it invisible. After that, for create the texture of dumb light, we go to material editor and set a V-Ray bitmap. Then load the HDR file, which I put the link in the caption. Change the mapping type, this vertical mode. And now it's ready to use. We can find this file in this link. I put it in the caption. You can download it as free. This is a really good one. You can test it on Photoshop and you just need to open it. And then go here and select 32-bit exposure to change the exposure, as you can see the light source in behind of the window is still there when I reduce the exposure. It means we have a good HDR file. Now we just assign it to the dom light and let it be instance. Let's open the material editor and create this material with these textures. At first we should add with AMTL. Then we can move and drag textures in the material editor. It's very important to reduce the blue number to zero. To copy that, hold the shift button, move it down, and then load other texture. And we should composite them. Then we load the composite node, set the diffuse on layer one, and create another layer, and set the AO and B in the collusion. To layer 2 as multiply and set it as diffuse let me open the preview to see better the material and then copy the node okay open the third one the height texture and we should set the override on number one and set it as a displacement and we should set it normal or right again. We should load with a normal map and set it as a bump. You should notice that if it is open gel, you should flip green. Then copy again and load another texture, roughness texture and check the override. You should set it as reflect glassiness and change the glassiness to roughness in the material setting. And after that, as we can need to reflect amount, we should set it to 128, the average gray, as you know. Okay, let's assign it to the object and change the UVW map. I prefer set tiles to 3. After that, for better displacement, it's better to add a modifier with a displacement mod and set our height map on the modifier. And because of this, we have to uncheck the displacement map on the material. Or we can clear it. I set the amount of displacement 0.5 then let's add the camera. Okay. Add the denoiser. All my mistakes. Okay. Press C to camera viewport. Move camera closer. 
Okay, it's good. Let's push the render button. It's too wide. I should decrease the multiplier of light. Too dark, it's better. Decrease the highlight value and adjust exposure and contrast. Adjust curves and add a lookup. It's fine, I think. Let's do another example with metal roughness that includes the metalness map. This is a shield, one of my old practices. I want to add textures on it. The height map has no any data, it's just gray, so we don't have to add it. The metallic map is very important now, and we should override it and assign it to metalness on our material. As you can see, if we remove the metallic matter, we don't have any metallic effect on our object. It's too shiny. Let's rotate our light. It's better. It's better. Okay. Um, you can find all links in the description and if it was useful for you please like this video and if you have any question please leave a comment see you in the next video and bye